Oh, Willie Jackson joins us now. Gosh, hard to believe it's been a year. Oh, it's just amazing. We had a celebration for him at our Iwi Radio Awards uh, the week before last, you know, the one you forgot mm. to talk to me about. <laughs> anyway, and uh, it, was, uh, it was a great night. His crew came in from Tolaga Bay and uh, it was the whole Iwi Radio Awards was uh, dedicated to him. And mm. uh, people just, we just had some fabulous stories being told and uh, myself and Shane Jones, Tuddy on the 2D, we were all recounting... Um, you know, about him. Just one of the great personalities. And I had a meeting with Witta Gardner a few days ago uh, because Witta's doing a, his book. Mm. So chucked a few stories uh, about Parikura. So that'll be one to watch out for. I mean, he was such a big personality, wasn't he? Hard to fill those shoes. How do you think Mecca Bay today is going? Uh, not too well. Um, good person that she is. But, uh, you know, he, the, the problem Labor, Labor's got is they don't have... Uh, they don't have those big personalities. When I say not too well, she's okay at local level and all that. But you know, you, I don't know if we've seen her anywhere. You know. So you want to see more of Mick? Oh well, Mick, look, it's hard for them. But Mick, you know, Mick is struggling. Uh, Māori MPs and, and Labour are all struggling. Uh, and now um, it'll be interesting how they cope with this Jones uh, departure. That's right. What, what do you make of his departure? <clears throat> well, when you don't have any support from your Māori faction when you don't have support from the gay faction, when you don't have support from the women's faction, when you think that Labour are going to lose at the next election, it was probably an easy choice for him. So, Was it the right choice? Was it well, I mean, it wasn't well executed? Well, it's the right choice for him and Dot, him and his uh, lovely partner. It's, it's a disaster for Labour. So politically... Is it really a disaster, though? You've just named, I mean, the, the various factions mm. that didn't support him. Really, what kind of loss is he? Well, it's a loss in, in, because he, um, he was the the in in terms of the, he was the threat uh, for national if there was any threat from Labour. He's the guy who could make some inroads on that right wing vote. Even some of that sort of blue collar uh, vote that, they'll get some of that. So Shane was the one, he was the only threat. And, and now, now he's gone. Um, Labour need to look at themselves. So Sh Shane needs to look at himself too, of course, because Shane's a great individual, but unable to work with, with teams. But it's just a shame that Labour couldn't put it behind them, that, that some of those factions couldn't get, get behind him. They wanted him out. He was gone last year he, when he stood for the leadership. Uh, and, of course, his countdown campaign ensured ensured that he was going to get a reasonable list position. But the woman wanted him out, the Māori wanted him out, the, the gays wanted him out, you know. So Shane's got to look at himself uh, because uh, he was unable to bring a team behind him. And that's, that's a shame because you're looking at one of the more brilliant uh, politicians in terms of natural skills of the last generation. But just It wasn't a brilliantly executed uh, well, he, departure, though, was well, it? Well, I mean, what, what, the way he did it, yeah. what does that say to you about what he felt about his party? Well, well he, he, he thinks that there there's no chance, that's what he thinks. And it's hard on David Cunliffe, because Cunliffe is, was, was a, just a, a, a tough blow for, for Cunliffe, who I think's handled it reasonably well. But do you? Do you? Because there's so many that feel that this really reflects on his leadership. Well, well, I don't think it's so much his leadership. I think it's all the faction. You know, like, like Cunliffe has been given what he's been given. Cunliffe doesn't run... You know, it's been hard for him to control uh, things. Uh, th this party is so factional, it's not funny. And it's going to be interesting to see how they um, operate, Mitty. I think they could, uh, they could fall apart, unfortunately. Fortunately, so they'll be looking for uh, they'll be looking for a few stars. They're talking about Calvin Davis now. Yes, now that's interesting. Shane Jones anointing him too. How yeah. do you think he'll go? Calvin's a good man again, but uh, you know, not in the same league as Shane. What uh, about what about Hone? How do we do though? Uh, well, Hune Harawira, I think, is, uh, sh should comfortably take that seat still. OK, so Calvin, no chance in your... No, 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 he's got a chance. He's got a real chance in the North uh, because Labour, Labour have always got a chance. But Calvin's not the sort of X-factor that they want. I know for a fact Labour are looking for some sort of X-factor. Uh, they might be looking for someone like Julian Wilcox, uh, you know, in terms of... Uh, uh, it's know. always Julian. Uh, well, you know, because they're, they're looking... That's, they're an interesting, that's an interesting point you raise because, I, I mean, Maria Baj um, recently said that Māori seem to be looking for a messiah in politics. Yeah. Are we looking too hard? Do you agree with her that we're looking for an individual and we should maybe be looking, uh, casting the net wider? Well, Maria's right. Because the reality is you don't get these uh, heavyweights too often. Parkia don't get them. I mean, who's the messiah? Who's the heavyweight in Labour now? Clayton Cosgrove? David Shearer? Phil Goff? You, you know, we Māori have as many problems as Parkia. I mean, if you look in the last generation, the, the big heavyweights have been Norman Kirk, Rob Muldoon, David Longy. Helen Clark was different. She just she was a great operator. She wasn't this great uh, So heavyweight. do we keep looking for that No, we don't, we don't have to look for that. We just need, we, we, you know, because those sort of people come along uh, every 
few years, and we've had them with uh, with Shane, with the Tamahides, with Winston, and, and but inevitably a lot of these guys don't know how to work with the teams. We just need people who can work together and advance uh, advance things for us. And so Maria's not wrong in terms of what in, in terms of what she's saying. You don't need the the big the big great personality. You need someone who can work strongly with the people at grassroots, maybe like Parikura was doing for for quite a while. So so let's watch out for things. But what we have to watch is how's this Labour Party nomination going to go in, in Auckland here, you know? Mm. Is Shane Totima going to get it? I know that he's uh, he wants it and he probably deserves it. He's been going through a lot of things. He's got the committees in place. Or we're going to see a challenge from a Julia, Julian Wilcox or all something. Right. That's what we've got to watch out for. <laughs> or Scotty Morrison. Yeah, right. All right. <laughs> we'll, we'll leave the discussion there. Thank you very much, uh, Willie Jackson. Scotty.